Okay. Starting on the knees, just take a nice stretch up to side. Near the side. Take a nice little back bend as well. So I'm going to show you from here. Opening. Bring the hands to the front here and do a few bow and arrows, arches to loosen the spine. on the force let's move the spine round yeah so this one is freestyle we can move around as much as we want wave into some Cats and cows. Okay. And you reverse the circle. Reverse, just keep going. Try and loosen up whatever hurts or whatever. Tapping the toes and taking a downward facing dog here. Into your downward facing dog, bend the knees and straighten the legs again. Finding a nice bend, dig deeper with the chest and shoulders, and extend. Bending and extending. Keep going. You can come on your toes, obviously, it's quite hard to like reach the heels when you re bending. Taking a few waves here, coming into upward facing, reversing into downward facing, upward facing, downward facing. If you struggle to do this full movement, what you can do is when you come down, drop the knees, and wave open the chest chest comes be in between the arms rolling the shoulders shoulders away from the ears looking up and then bend your knees again and push back yeah so it's fine to do it like that we do two more like this either straight into and up chest forward shoulders away from the ears downward face last one Slowly stay here. Take a few deep breaths here. Rotating your bicep towards the front of the room. If you need to come a little bit lower because it's too painful, then bend the arm. In this position, 
Bend the right leg. You should be hips on the floor here. Left leg. Right. And left. And right. Last one. And take a little child pose here. From your child pose, take the right elbow forward, place the hand behind the neck and push down. First of all, pull yourself away and drop your chest down to really stretch the front of your shoulder into the chest. Coming back, change side. So you might be able, you will be seeing it more on this side. I pull the way first, and then I push my chest down. Coming down into lying position. From here, we're going to place the hands onto the chin. Yeah. And we are going to tuck the, your bottom jaw forward. Yeah. So we look a bit silly. Tuck your bottom jaw forward. And with your hands, you're going to pull onto your beautiful chin. Roll the shoulders behind to keep them away from the ears. We're making space in the cervical spine here. Start squeezing over the muscles at the back of the head. Stretch in front of the neck. Release by rotating the head a little bit side to side. Taking the right ankle, the right foot, let's stretch a little bit the quadriceps here by squeezing a pubic bone down into the mat and pressing the heel down into your glute. Taking the time to release here. If you find the release is good enough or you want a little bit more, you can start lifting your knee off the floor. So keep your pelvis tucked into the mat. Yes, so the hip bone should be pushing down the mat here. And then from here, we're going to come to the side onto our forearm and we're going to try and bring the heel a little bit on the side side of the hip. So first, do a few motion of moving. Yeah, you want to move and move and move. Squeeze the glute to release. And then let's hold as much as we can for a few breaths here. Releasing the quadriceps. This shouldn't hurt. It should feel uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt. Good. Changing side. 
So squeeze the heel to the butt and squeeze your pelvis into the floor. So take a moment here. Let's bring it to the side. It's a big stretch on the ankle as well and the shin. Good. Push down. Hold it there. Oh yeah. It's the NHS clap. Hold. Try and release. Keep pushing that pelvis down. And release. nice. Coming into your sphinx, elbows parallel and try and tuck a little bit more your chest in between your arms here. From here, let's tuck the toes slightly and let's arch the back and now let's round and turn push into a plank. Come down and tilt the tailbone upwards. Tilt the tailbone down, push round the back and lift into plank. Tilt, engage your core. Yeah, you can again come on the knees before you lift. Last one. Push into your dolphin. From your dolphin. Keeping the elbows parallel here. Making sure. Let's start opening the shoulders into an active. So moving yourself away from the arms now. And let's take a hold here for a moment into the opening. So we want to keep this open as much as possible. And take a child pose. Release your hands, release your forearm. I'm going to come back into and upward facing. Forward now. Still rolling the shoulders back. And this time lift the left leg. Bring the left arm forward and try and touch your ankle here. Forward and back. 
Yeah, so you can see here, I'm not arching the back, I still keep my navel towards the spine. It's active stretch. Last one. From here, hold it a little bit. If you can bring again your hand and your forearm alongside. If you know how to flip the grip, do it. I'm not quite there yet. We flip the grip, we reverse this way, and then we pull the elbow up. I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> hold it here. Pull. And release. Let's do the other side. <sighs> Staying strong. Right leg. Shoulders down. Chest forward. Engaging through the core. Last one, and hold. Tend to pull a little bit with your ankle as well, away. And then pull back to get a bit more extension of the leg. Lift here, rotate your elbow down to get that rotation a little bit. And slowly take a child pose. Whew, lots of extension today. Try and open both the shins, the knees, make space in the hips and try and drop your glutes down and try and drop your chest down here. Gently, come back, roll the spine a little bit, and we're going to come into a hip flexor stretch here a little bit to extend, a little bit more through the whole spine. So we're going to start with right leg forward. A nice low lunge. So first try and open through the hip flexor here. Coming up, driving the hip flexor a little bit lower. From here, paste all your hand. And let's try and take a little back then here. Coming back, changing side. Ooh. Wow. Coming down first, Ooh, finding a nice hip flexor stretch after a long day like this. And the hip flexors are tight, so we want to loosen them up, release them. And then a bit of stretch, a little bit of activation. <sighs> Having a nice stretch here. Taking a nice little breath, really kind of lift the chest first, yeah? So hands on the chest, on the ribcage, if you struggle to understand. 
lift your chest upwards before you take a back bend. Every time you push up before you lean back. Slowly, Woo. bring it back. Oh, my hip flexor. Oh, lovely. Let's do one more to release a little bit more. So we're gonna come back to the first hip flexor stretch. We're gonna do a different stretch. We've done this one before in my classes. So coming back. Oh. Hip flexor stretch. This time, give yourself a nice twist. Here, lift the arm towards the ceiling and walk your left fingers along the leg and take a nice deep breath. Slowly coming back. Whew. I'm trying to like also not hurt my granny knee or oh, my grandma, my grandma knees. Good. On the other side, guys. Go this way. You can see best. Good. Taking a nice little twist first. Reaching up. Oh, okay, your fingers, actually. Hide on his side. The upper hand. And bring it back. Over here. Moving your hips side to side. Ooh. Spine. Nice deep breath to reset. Reflection here. Wonderful. Well done. Well done.